The COVID-19 pandemic is a matter of serious concern across the globe. Many nations stand in despair how to handle this crisis. Many people are dominating by fear and despair by this time. When will this COVID-19 end? Many people are worried about what's going to happen next. Will we have our daily needs met like water, food, fuel supplies? Will medical assistance be available if things are continues the way now? We grow in our concern for whether our communities have access to information, healthcare, and safety, and whether our healthcare systems and professionals can keep up with the demands of this pandemic. We yearn for solid ground to stand on, but all the voices around us only seem to lead to shifting sand. In these times, most of us perceive only the darkness that surrounds our communities and our lives. We cry out, but there does not seem to be an answer. And the only one who can give us peace in the midst of chaos and uncertainty is Jesus. It is the kind of peace that transcends understanding which the world cannot understand. There is a hope. There is hope. There is hope. But there is hope. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. It's a hope promised to us by Jesus Christ. It's a hope for all nations. It's a hope for us in a time of crisis. With God's help, humanity will overcome this. In this dream situation, only one thing we can do is look unto Jesus with great hope and trust. He will never fail us. The gospel is still about abounding in hope, even more so in times of fear. I say, never give up. Jesus is on our side. Thanks God that we have someone to trust. When Stephen, the first Christian martyr, was surrounded by those who were throwing stones and ate at him, he raised his eyes and focused only on Jesus at the right hand of the Father. Let's do that. There is hope.